Welcome to another exciting episode of Quick Cash with Come and the Kid. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> We're out here in the middle of Westlake, Idaho. Which is funny because there's no lake out here. Maybe there's a lake out here. Maybe there once was. I don't know. We were out in this area doing a paranormal investigation out in Forest, Idaho, which was once a town. Now it's just a bar. But anyway, we're out in this area here. There's a cache. We're going to find it. We're going to get a new county on our Idaho state map for caches. Kid doesn't care. <laughs> I'm suffering with my allergies. That's right. We're in the middle of this field and the allergies are killing her. That's why we got to find this cache, make it real quick and get a new county on our Idaho state map. Let's get Lewis County out of the way. So join us as we find this quick cache. Do you hear that? That's the sound of silence. That's the neat thing about this place. There's nothing. Can't hear any wind, you can't hear any birds or anything. It's amazing. Do you want to be in it? No. Nope, you do your thing. She doesn't want to be in it, but I filmed her anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm so terrible. We were out here doing our investigation, then came out to this location, middle of nowhere, to find this cache here at Westlake. And check this out. We've got ourselves a bottle. <laughs> it's a cache in a glass bottle. Now, glass containers, probably not the best thing because they can break. But we're in the middle of nowhere here. <laughs> so hopefully it'll last and do okay. It looks like it's doing good so far. So we've got our first cache here in Lewis County. What's in the jar? What's in the jar? <gasps> Peacock feather. Peacock feather. Let's go fly away. I'm not lost. I'm geocaching. <laughs> and of course, logbook. We've got rubber duckies. <laughs> Somebody sneezed real bad in there. We're just horsing around. And a memory game with frozen characters. There we go. It was an awesome quick find here in Lewis County. Thanks for joining. You, be you became the what? She became a what? Human hot dog. You became a human hot dog? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Edible? Mm, get some food poisoning from that. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for joining us here as we found a quick cash out here in Lewis County, Idaho. Another county marked off the Idaho states. How you Woo! feeling, kid? She's happy. Um, allergies. <laughs> yeah, we got allergies and it's really hot and terrible out here. So, Turn on the <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. So thanks for watching. And as always, cash on. All right, kid, way to put some effort in it. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>
Um, what happened here was when we were heading down to the location to do our paranormal investigation, there was some caches along the way uh, down in Winchester that we wanted to hit up, but they were either DNF'd or needs maintenance and couldn't be found or had archive status put on them. So no luck finding those. There was a lake down there which we stopped at, but we had to pay for parking. So maybe get those later. <laughs> so we went down to the location, did a paranormal investigation, and on the way out, I was like looking up on the geocaching app to see where the nearest cache is. And I saw this cache out here to the west. And I thought, let's go get it. Let's get that to be our Lewis County cache for Idaho. Drove out there, got it. And on the way home, I didn't care about any of the other caches there along the way down to Craigmont or other areas we passed by because I thought we got the cache that we needed. But no, <laughs> it wasn't until later after I checked the map when it refreshed on uh, Project GC that I found out we got the wrong county. So yay, we still got a new county for Idaho, but it's not the one I wanted. Oh well, life goes on. Uh, Lewis County there. There's a lake down there where we've been fishing before. You've probably seen our video, Fishing and Cashing. Um, we'll probably be heading down there again later. Go down there and do some fishing with the kid and my mom and uh, stepdad. And when we're down there, I'll definitely have to stop at the park and get those caches. <laughs> so, what is one of the greatest goof-ups you've had when you've been out geocaching? Like you had a goal that you wanted to get a certain cache, but it didn't go through. But maybe you got something else which accomplished another challenge. Let me know about it down below. And again, thanks for watching.